kitties welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is kira i'm better known as afro kitty on social media and for those of you who are new to my channel i am an artist that loves to talk about dolls cartoons tv shows movies and the occasional anime and in this video i'm going to give you yet another doll update i'll be talking about four different brands today we're going to talk about rainbow high monster high Bratz and Barbie. But with Rainbow High, we have three different collections that I wanted to mention. So all of them have um, a very interactive kind of concept to them. It's not about fashion anymore. It's more about, oh, what can the kids entertain themselves with? First collection that we have is a Winter Wonderland collection. This has Kyler, Sunny, Violet, and Bella. And the other collection that I want to mention is another one called Tie Dye color and tie-dye which basically has three different dolls where you can just style them and color them however you want to and the last collection that i wanted to mention is called sparkle and shine i will correct myself later on because i think it's i think i'm butchering the name but i know that it starts with sparkle and these dolls are a new design that they've made and it's kind of strange because these dolls are clear at the bottom so we'll we'll talk about this in the video so with monster high i have three different updates that i want to give you the first one is regarding the models of jennifer long and venus from the tv show the second update that i want to give you is regarding two comic covers one is of Torelai and claudine and the other one is about valentine and spelden now these comics are said to be published for the month of may and i also wanted to mention the artist i will be tagging them you know putting their their instagram handles on the top so you guys can also follow them and support them yeah, and the third and final update that I want to give you with Monster High is regarding these potions. It's called a potion, and there's like these little figures. They're really cute. I think they're more of a collectible, I guess. And in this one, we have Spectra, we have Laguna, Claudine, Cleo, Draculaura, and Frankie. I'm not sure if anybody has talked about it before, but I thought they were cute, so I just wanted to, you know, put it in here right now the other brand that i want to talk about is brats now with brats we only have one update and it's regarding a collaboration that they did with a fashion brand called opali and i just want to talk about the outfits and just why the fans were not happy with this collaboration and lastly when it comes to barbie we have two different updates we have a doll collaboration a doll collection that they did for international women's day where they have eight dolls that are celebrities comedians artists singers it's really cool i just wanted to mention it as well and the other collection that i want to talk about is regarding the barbie dream besties we have a lot to talk about when it comes to that okay so before i continue on with this video i want to give a thanks to my subscribers and the new subscribers for reaching 1k on youtube this is very exciting honestly oh my god thank you guys so much for liking the videos that i do honestly i made this channel just to rant because i'm a I'm a chatterbox. I talk a lot, so I've learned to just tune myself out. I think it's a trait that every woman who has ADHD or it's neurodivergent has. As always, I have my tablet here with me. I will be including the pictures on this side of the screen or on this side of the screen. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So let's first start off with Rainbow High. Now I wanted to first talk about the tie-dye collection. Now I don't have a lot of thoughts on it, um, there's three different girls, there's one who's white, there's one who's tan, and there's one that's dark skin, and yeah, um, that's it. Um, all of them have different outfits, they're all dressed in white, because again, this is a tie-dye situation, and you can also dye their hair as well. It's really cool, really cool interactive thing. I'm not sure how much they cost, but I think they're still in concept form, because the pictures that we have are very blurry, and we don't even have a picture with the box and how they look, so... I, I really can't say much. I know I'm not gonna buy these. None of these dolls I'm interested in whatsoever because they're basically for a younger audience now. They're targeting a younger audience. And you can also tell by the TV show. I've only seen some snippets of it. They're, they already introduced a, a little girl character. I personally know what's gonna happen with this brand or what they're really going for. So far, I just feel like they're targeting a younger audience now. So they're also including uh, younger kids, younger characters, so people can feel connected to it more. Um, the next doll, doll collection that I want to talk about is regarding the Sparkles and Shine. We have four different dolls. We have Rosetta, Clementina, Marina, and Viola. Now these are, I'm, I'm gonna, I, I feel like these are their names. I found it online. So hopefully that those are their names. 
Now, my favorite out of this collection is Rosetta. I think she has the more um, cohesive and completed design. The other ones look all over the place for me, but again, I think these are just concepts. There's no pictures of the dolls in their box. There's not like a finishing look. So far for me, Rosetta is the only one that looks complete. Now, Clementina and Marina, they look all over the place, but it's because, you know, their main color scheme is orange and blue, yet they have different outfit choices with different colors. So I'm really not sure what they're going to go for in this situation. Now, Viola, oh, Viola, sorry, Viola. Now, Viola is very strange, and I saw people comparing this doll to Spectra. And it's really, they, they look very similar. Not only that, but these dolls, they have clear legs very similar to how spectra looks and not only that but i feel like they also used inspiration for the novi stars now novi stars was a doll brand that it was also very interactive they had fashion and they also had things inside of their bodies so for example there's one that has sprinkles on her legs and on inside they're very interactive in that sense and that's kind of like the vibe that they're going for for this collection and yeah all of them have glitter on the inside where you can just probably you can just shake it and turn it around and do whatever you want but yeah i can understand why people are saying that yeah the viola one looks very similar to spectra even in the color scheme she has clear legs they probably took inspiration from them to try to rip them off i don't know man i don't have a lot to say of it i feel like i want to see where this goes and i want to see the finishing look for all these dolls but again so far my favorite is rosetta I like her concept. She's very, very cute. But, yeah. A little strange. It's a little strange overall. Now, the last collection that I want to talk about is regarding the Winter Wonderland. Now, I was really hyped for this. Mostly because I liked how Sunny looked. Sunny looked really, really cute. I really didn't like how Bella or Skylar looked. But it's because of the outfits looked really interesting in the sense of like, oh, it's a Winter Wonderland. You know, you're expecting them to have coats and outfits that are more cozy, you know, that keeps you warm. But when it comes to Bella, Bella has this really poofy ass dress. Not a dress, it's just a skirt. And I'm like, girl, it's winter. Why are you wearing a skirt in winter like that, girl? It's a big ass dress. And if you're walking around in the snow, like, I'm just thinking logically in that sense. And this is, these are dolls, you know, I shouldn't be thinking too hard on it. And apparently these dolls are water-based as well. So basically you can um, pour water on their skirt and they can change colors. At least that's what I'm thinking. I mean, seeing these pictures, I'm going to share them as well with you. It seems like they're water-based. And not only that, but instead of having their little pets as companions, they have snowmen as companions. Now these snowmen pets, you can like, they're also slime so you can mold it and stretch it and do whatever you want. So, yeah, um, I, I'm feeling like, again, the target audience is kids who would want to play with slime and shit. And, yeah, uh, again, my favorite is Sunny, and I, I actually like Violet. I didn't mention her, but Violet looks really cute, at, at least for the concept, which is, like, winter. I think Violet looks the best for me. She looks really cute. I love her outfit. I love her hairstyle, and, you know... I've said it before in this channel, I'm not a big fan of Violet's character, I really I really find her annoying, but this doll is really cute, like besides the point, this doll is really really cute, I like the hairstyle, I like the outfits, and at least based on this photo that I'm seeing, the shoes look like they're less quality than how they used to be, now she's supposed to be wearing fur boots, but it looks like it's just a mold, and that's it, like not, not the additional fur or anything like that, it's just the mold. Very much like Monster High shoes. And for all I know, they put a little bit more effort when it comes to the shoes. Like I have some of the dolls and I'm looking at them right now and their shoes look like they have more details than these ones. So yeah, the quality has gone down a little bit. And I have to understand, I, I feel like I understand why. Honestly, these dolls are very expensive to make. They have a lot of joints and even the details that they do with the outfits they take a lot of work like I remember when the first dolls came out they had an additional outfit an additional pair of shoes they had a lot going on and it made sense why they were like about 35 40 dollars 
I can understand. So now it's just they have a companion, it's more simplified. I'm not sure if they have the same amount of joints than the previous designs, because at least for the other collections that I mentioned, they have less joints. At least the wrist one, they don't have them. But in this case, it seems like they still have all the joints for this collection. And yeah, uh, Skylar... I like Skylar's hair and I like the, the accessories, but I really don't like that mermaid tail skirt that's going on. I don't like it. That's it. I don't like it. But Sunny looks cute. Now, with Sunny's doll and Bella's doll, we have them in their box. We have a picture of their box design. So that's why I'm, I'm saying that, oh, yeah, probably the, the outfit is based on, you know, um, water base where you can just pour water on it and it just changes colors. And for Sunny's, Sunny's is the jacket. The puffer jacket is the one that changes colors. I'm really not sure what else are they going to go for. Um... I think it's cute, but I'm not... Eh, I won't buy it. I won't buy any of these dolls. And that's okay. That's okay. That doesn't mean I hate the brand and I don't like it. It's just... Eh, it's not for me. What I want to talk about is regarding Monster High. Now, Monster High, I have three updates. The first one was about the Jennifer Long model and the Venus one. Now, I absolutely love Venus. Venus looks really cute. I love her locks. They're, they're just, she's a very cute model. Very, very cute model. Now, I know that a lot of people don't like the models for G3 and the TV show. They make fun of the cankles. Is it the cankle? Because the legs are just like a chunk and there's no form for the legs. And they sometimes get mad at how they design some, some of the characters. Like, for example, me personally, I don't like how Iris looks. But I don't think it's the outfit, I just think it's the model. I could be wrong, and it's not to say, oh my god, I hate that she's fat. No, I don't give a fuck about that. She looks cute, fat, I love that. Even myself, I made, when I did a character design years ago, I designed Iris as a chunky, a chunky girl. And also, let me say this, because I'm getting really sick and tired of the Monster High community and the fandom. I feel like some of the people in the fandom have become so fat phobic so hateful and when you really look at monster high monster high is about accepting everyone for who they are and you know so crazy that people are still being hypercritical of certain characters like iris um, and caddy nor because um there they are the more heavy set character changes that they did and draculaura is also a curvaceous uh, character now and I don't see the same kind of commentary for Draculaura than it is for Kainor and Iris. Now with Iris, I think my major criticism with her is not even the outfit because yeah, it's nice to have a character that's more tomboyish that doesn't really wear girlyish outfits. Um, it does give me Billie Eilish. I understand why people really don't like her. I don't like how her eye looks in the 3D model. Um, but it's nothing to do with her body like at all. I just feel like it's just the eyes look a little strange and the outfit is a little strange for me. But other than that, I don't feel that there's any issues with her. But the fact that Caddy Nor's doll has been getting so much hate, not 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 on every other social media platform, but the one that I've seen the most is definitely on TikTok. And TikTok is some place that I really feel like I'm just taking it with a grain of salt. Every time I go in there, there's always someone giving such negative takes on things that I just feel like, damn, you're just being hateful at this point. You're not even giving constructive criticism. You're just actually being hateful towards a character and towards a doll that we haven't even seen yet in the show. Like, really, I haven't seen that character in the show. I could be wrong, though, but I have not seen her model in the show. I'm kind of disappointed in the fandom right now. But I just don't like how people are just overly very critical of this doll. It just doesn't make any sense. I know I gave my opinions and my thoughts on her doll, but it was mostly because of her outfit because I did not I did not have any issues with the doll being plus size. I actually like her. I was like, "Yes, give us more fat dolls because G1 of Monster High, everybody's skinny." But I am very worried about the fandom. I'm very worried that, you know, it's becoming toxic at this point because people are just spreading a lot of hate. And also, not only that, but the, just the comparisons between G1 and G3, they're both flawed. They're both very much flawed. G1 is as flawed as you might think. It's just the nostalgia that's really blocking people from 
realizing that although, yes, we love G1, there's a lot of things that they did wrong. And I'm glad that for G3, they fixed those mistakes and they reinvented it to make something new. I appreciate both equally. I love me some G1. I grew up with G1, but I also like G3 as well. The dolls are very beautiful. They've done really good jobs with the dolls. Um, I, again, have to watch the show. But it's just so sad that it's become very divisive. Not like, if I like it, I buy it. If I don't like it, I don't buy it. And I will leave it at that. Let's continue on with the video. But let's get back to Jennifer. Now, people were mad about Jennifer's design. I don't particularly hate it. I find it strange that she's green, but it makes sense because her doll before, she was gold. She was gold. She was yellow. <laughs> that could be considered racist, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. But I, I don't mind that she's green. I think what I mind and I find weird is the fact that her ears are like very big. And it doesn't make her look like a dragon. It just makes her look like a gremlin. And that's what people were comparing to her a lot of the time by her. But uh, I want to get to know the character more. I think she's cute though. I don't hate it, honestly. She's just, she's cute. She's a little cutie pie. She's a little cutie pie. I don't have anything else to say. She's cute, but I think the only thing that I found weird was the ears. Let me know what you guys think on that. Because I don't have a lot to say about that. I just feel like she looks okay. Like, just the ears. My problem was the ears. Next thing that I want to talk about is regarding the cover arts for the upcoming comics that we're gonna have for the month of May. I love them. I first want to talk about the Claudine and Toral I want. I love the the heart shapes like it's so cute. I love that after we were, we got revealed of these cover arts people were just making more fan art of Toral and Claudine like I love that. I love that and I like the semi-realism of the artwork and it's very very detailed actually. Like the artwork is really detailed very cute and my favorite is this artist i actually follow them i love their art um the, this artist is called eo poi i could be wrong when I'm, I'm butchering now i love this artwork i love this artist and this artist had the opportunity to do the design do the artwork for spelden's character because he's he's a character that was mentioned but never shown he never had any dolls and i also want to give you a fun fact so spelden is supposed to be the brother of the witch character that they shared, I forgot her name, girl. Oh, ugh, I forgot her name, but she was also a, a pop star kind of girl. And yeah, she's she's the older sister, and it's really cool. That's really cool. I love it. And after we get these things, I hope to see more two packs. I want to see dolls. I want to see Valentine again. It could be Valentine with Cupid. It could be Valentine with Spelden. Now that we have a that now that we have a character design for him, please, please give us some two packs. Of these two and Toralai and Claudine and please give them real beautiful outfits I would buy it for real I would buy it uh, have dinner with me please 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 fit. so I wanted to pause this video right now because I forgot to add this other cover book that we have for a comic that's gonna be available for free comic book day on May 4 now this artist I remember this artist like when I first saw this cover art I was like I know I recognize that art style I don't know who it is from but girl when I once I remember who it was I was like Bitch, is that Mookie? Is that Mookie? but yeah I follow this artist on uh, TikTok and on Instagram they're very very talented I'm very proud of them for reaching this goal it's really cool to be able to make the cover art for a very big ass brand like that is amazing for watching their tiktoks regarding their comics and i really love their character design and their art style it's really really cute now this comic book is based on a preview for a new series that they're gonna make called monster high new scare master it's really interesting um so far um what is known about is that they're gonna have about 10 comic books for the new series and i'm kind of like curious what's gonna happen like ooh. and this is good for the people who love g1 monster high we have more content for them so i'm kind of excited about this i'm i'm excited to know what this preview comic book is going to be about um it's about 32 pages really cool i'm not sure if the artist that did the cover art is going to make the is going to also illustrate the comics but if they do i am gonna be so stoked i want to buy the physical one because again i love this artist so much i will definitely support this so yeah let's just get back to the video the last thing that i want to give 
Then I want to talk about the minifigure potions of Claudine, Spectra, Cleo, Laguna, Frankie, and Draculaura. Now, my favorite out of everyone is Spectra and Draculaura. And my third favorite is Cleo. Um, she's a little simple, but I do like her hair. And my least favorite are the ones that I didn't mention. So Frankie, Laguna, and Claudine. Now, Claudine has these bright-ass green boots that really make her stand out in a negative way. And Frankie just... Frankie's just there. To be honest, Frankie's just there. And then Laguna, at first glance, I thought this was a white girl. And I feel so bad for saying that. I was like, who is this white chick? I really didn't know until like later on. I was like, oh my god, that's Laguna. <laughs> But that's just the photos, okay? She could be a lot pinker than she appears on the screen. Now, Draculaura looks really cute. I love how the hair is styled. Really, really cute. And I also love how Spectre looks. Like, Spectre looks the same as the other dolls. But I just love this one. I like that she has purple and her dress is a different color. And Cleo, I like her hair, but I don't like her outfit. So that is it for the Monster High update. Now let's get over to Bratz and Barbie. So for this section of the video, we're gonna talk about Bratz and their collaboration with Opali. Now I wanted to go and share you with you guys their TikTok because this is where I found out that Bratz even made a collaboration in the first place, girl. I was like, wait, why did you not talk about it? Anyways, the first video that I saw from this account was this one where they were showcasing the phone. And at first glance, I thought that they were gonna sell the phones again and I would have loved that. You know if you take a closer look at the mouth and uh, this side they have Bratz and the Opali logo so yeah it was them promoting their collaboration. Now another video that they did to promote the collaboration was this one which is a very very well done uh, commercial however you can clearly see that some of these outfits that are in the collection they don't scream Bratz to me and a lot of people are saying that yeah it's not giving brats it's giving more wings club because of the glitter because of the simplicity of the outfits and you know that brats is all about layers and fur coats jackets a lot of accessories that are just something that is well known for brats not only that but the boots girl none of these they got boots but it's not you know it's just not giving personally i wanted to showcase and go to their store and talk about their collection and some of the outfits now this one is one that i uh loved the most out of this collection i love that top i love the metallic blue color really really pretty they also have this in cream it i don't like the cream one i i love this one more it's very in your face i just love this color by the way now this one costs 50 euros and mind you, if you convert that into US dollars, it's about $55 or $60. And I was screaming because I was considering getting this. But girl, $60 is un ojo de la cara. So it's too expensive for me. Um, not saying that anybody else couldn't get it, but you know, at least for, for my budget. Mm -mm. But my favorite is the fourth one, the one with the pants really cute i like that it's giving me euphoria actually i don't i forgot what the name of the character was but she usually wore the specific style really reminiscent on her even the skirt with the revealing front it's giving euphoria it's giving that one girl who went to the fair with that really revealing dress i was like girl what you doing this is a fair girl what are you doing and then the one in the uh right with the pants oh my god very euphoria not bad it's not a bad thing though if i'm saying this it's not to demean them or to say anything bad about it i just think it's a very cunt look right these ones they're in blue uh i like that blue one this one's cute this one's cute i like this this pants uh the skirt's cute uh now we have some of the blue items in pink. Cute, cute. This lilac one is so pretty. But again, it's giving me Stella from Wings Club. And it's because of the uh, asymmetric crop top. It's really pretty though. I don't hate it. They also have it in white. 
the metallic one that I mentioned, and then the blue pieces that I loved. Now there's also these ones that are the same material but just in shorts or in a skirt. This one's also very pretty, but I feel like this is not really my style. The only thing that I really liked was this top, but um, due to the price, I don't think uh, it's in my budget and that's totally fine. Uh, I understand people's uh, thoughts on it and their complaints, um, but some people really like it even though they it, it's not giving brats, they think it's still a very pretty collection. Um, people will still buy it regardless. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I also think there's another point of view on the fans and I think they just wanted a recreation of some of the outfits from the dolls. I would love to see that. Maybe not now, but maybe later if they plan on doing that. I would love to see that. I feel like most of the fans just really want nostalgia and they really want to recreate some of their favorite collections in real life and just wear it. I would love to do that. But yeah, um, maybe if they listen to their fans a little bit more, they might really do that. The outfits are not bad. They're very cute. They're very simple. Um, I feel like they're missing some layers. I'm talking like Shrek now. They're missing some layers, maybe some coats, maybe the way that they styled their hair as well. It's giving clean girl aesthetic. And I also am concerned that it, it doesn't seem like it's very plus size friendly, but I could be wrong. Um, this is UK sizing. I'm not sure if there is a section that they have available here which is like for plus size. I, I could be wrong, honestly. Um, let me know what your thoughts on the outfits, which one is your favorite. Uh, again, mine is that blue top. It's so cute. But yeah, girl, $60. Look how little. Okay, so regarding Barbie, let's talk about the one-of-a-kind Barbie role model of the year. Now, this was for honoring the International Women's Day that was on March 8th. And I want to mention all of them. I just want to talk about all of them one by one. There's about eight of the dolls. Now they have this semi-realism to them because they're based on actresses and models and just real people. And sometimes when it comes to Barbie, when they do semi-realism on the face, they kind of look a little scary. But for these, they look great. Like, I don't mind them at all. So let's just mention them one by one and then just talk about the doll. So the first one is Viola Davis. She's from the United States and we all know her to be the critically revered artist she is an actress and i love me some viola davis she's an activist she's a producer a philanthropist and the best-selling author that is really amazing i didn't know any of the other things that were mentioned i just remember her and i know her to be this really great uh, actress so yeah they got her in this beautiful black dress with a little bit of a train she has a clutch she has a necklace and she's really beautiful really beautiful i love the hair okay the hair beautiful 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 so the next one that we have is shania twain she's from canada now she's a global superstar a celebrated songwriter and style icon now i don't think i know her i don't think i've met her like not met her but i don't think i know what she's done but she is in this really extravagant a black skirt suit she has a top hat a black top hat with a little veil she has a microphone she's 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 serving serving looks now i don't know who she is to be very honest i don't know who she is but there is a picture of her with her doll really cool and yeah i don't have a lot to say the next doll is Dame, Dame Helen Moran, she's from the United Kingdom, and she's an acclaimed actress and advocate for women's stories. She is in a blue gown, really cute. She has a blue fan, and her hair is really nicely done in a bun, but like it's very intricate, really pretty, really, really pretty. Now, she also has a picture of her with her doll. Now, I've seen her before. I've seen her before. I'm not sure where, but I've seen her before. I mean, she she is an actress. And she looks so cute with her doll, but side by side. She looks really she looks really similar to a doll. Yes, yeah, she does. The next doll that we have is Kylie Minouge. She's from Australia and she is an artist and a singer. I remember her because I have a song of hers on my phone and I, the first video that I did editing this, I kept comparing her to Katya because 
that outfit of choice that they chose for this doll and the hair, the makeup, it's giving me Katya. And I felt so bad because at that time I really didn't know who she was. The next doll is Mayra Gomez. She's from Brazil and she's a content creator. Now Mayra Gomez, is, her doll is in a very, oh yeah, she has a very traditional outfit for her culture and it's really cool. Her culture and Tatuyo ethnic group in Amazonas. Sorry, I, I was butchering some things. I'm so sorry. So I just wanted to say it right. But yeah, I like that. I like that so much. There's also a picture of her with the doll. And they're twins, bitch. They're twins. That's so fun. Beautiful. I love that. That has to be so exciting as well. The next doll that we have is Lila Aviles. She's from Mexico. She's a director, producer, and screenwriter. And she looks so cute. I like that she, they have a, a professional camera with her so fun the next doll that we have is nicole fujita she's from japan and she's a model and i've never seen her before but she looks so cute and i like that she took a picture of her and her doll she looks so cute i love her outfit it's giving very coquette i love this i love this i love this i love this now lastly we have anisa amani she's from germany and she's a comedian now the way that they style her girl she is pretty i like that blue dress like i love blue like I'm wearing it today. I love that specific blue. It's so pretty. She looks gorgeous. Now, that is all for this collection. They look fantastic. I think this is such an amazing opportunity. Like, I'll be so proud to have like a doll of myself. Like, girl, that means you made it big, babes. You made it big. So the second thing that I wanna talk about is regarding the Barbie Dream Besties collection. Now, these dolls are four of them. We have we have Brooklyn Barbie, we have Malibu Barbie, we have Teresa, and we have Renee. And I also wanted to share how the comparisons because girl, people were comparing them to Bratz and saying that it was a ripoff to Bratz because honestly, yeah, I could see it. I mean, we have a white girl, we have a black girl, we have a Hispanic Latina girl, and we also have the, the Asian representation. So I understand why people would start you know, speculating and saying, oh my god, this is for the competition of Bratz. And I, you know, I could see it, but at the same time, you know, Bratz is always going to be more known for Bratz than Barbie in that sense. I hope that makes sense. And this is not to, like, put them against each other, because I like all these doll brands that I talk about. But I can see why people were comparing that. Not only that, but the dolls' faces, they're basically a ripoff to the Ever After High dolls. They're the same. They're twins, bitch. Pago, ¿qué es esto? Habichuela. Yo te dije Goya. Habichuelas Goya. Compara. ¿Estas son tus habichuelas? Mm -mm. No, ¿verdad? Pues las devuelves. Twin twins. They're twinning. Now, I would say the only judgment that I have for these dolls is the fact that the promotional pictures look so off because why do you have both barbies up together like they're a couple i don't hate it though like if they're a couple hell yeah but they're out here coupled up and then you have teresa and renee on the other side like <laughs> are they all supposed to be besties that's that's part of the name they should all be together all huddled up like if i would edit this and i'm gonna edit it i will put teresa on where on the side where um where brooklyn barbie is and then brooklyn and barbie Brooklyn, Brooklyn and Malibu Barbie will be in the middle and then Renee just stays in that section and then it looks like they're all together and they're just like all huddled up like oh my god we're all besties yay and it's not just like two girls that are gay <laughs> they're a couple and they have their dog with them and then just Teresa and Renee they're like their supportive friends <laughs> that's the only criticism that I have now also Renee Renee is giving me Hani from New Jeans like do you not see the resemblance they're twins, bitch. It's the pigtails, it's the shirt. Like, those are the things that really made me think of Hani. And my favorite, I would say I like Brooklyn. I like Brooklyn Barbie. And I like Teresa. I'm not a big fan of Red, but she looks really cute. And I think she stands out, uh, out of the four, she stands out more. But it's because she's wearing a more vibrant color. And the other girls are wearing more girlyish colors. I hope that makes sense because it's not... Colors don't have a gender. It's just like red is just the more the more vibrant color out of the other three. And yeah, um, I like her hair. I like the little bow in the front. It's cute. It's cute. But honestly, if they really put Brooklyn and Malibu Barty together as a gay couple, I'll be here for it. Like, 
I mean, Pride Month is, like, a few months away, so... Why not do that? Why not put them together and, like, fuck Ken, you know? Get out of here, Ken! <laughs> but, yeah, um... I would... I wish that they could have changed it up a bit with the heads. Instead of, like... You know, taking taking the heads of Ever After High and just putting in this body. I wish they could have just created something new. But, hey, um... If it helps them, it helps them. I think they're cute. Um, would I get them? Eh, probably Molly, Malibu and Brooklyn Barbie, just because I, I think they're gay and they're just together. That's it. And, yeah, I don't have anything else to say about that. Now, I think that's all I have to say for this video. Let me know what you think about each and every brand. You can write them down like, oh, Bratz, Monster High, and such in the comment section. And uh, let me know what your thoughts about it. Thank you guys so much for you know supporting me and for 1k that's amazing like here's to more honestly like i'm excited a little scared because you know um it, as you keep growing there's more responsibilities and that's the scariest part i think the most scariest part for me is getting recognized in the streets and not having that privacy and that's the only scariest thing for me because i love my privacy i love my um i don't like being acknowledged outside sometimes um but you know um, when you do stuff like this online, those are some of the sacrifices that you must do, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to click on the notification bell to get notified of new videos. And I will see you in the next one.